Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I was invited by Teresa over at Stringfield Ridge Farm to be a part of her uh, top five essential oils and how we use them. Well, I'm sure you can tell already there's more than five here. Oh, and by the way, uh, yes, I'm filming a couple of videos today wearing this big hoodie because it's freezing here today. We're right in the middle of a big winter storm. And uh, even with the wood stove, our house is about, oh, 2,400 square feet. And we try to keep things closed up and just heat a small part. But it's still, when it's this cold out, which doesn't happen very often, it can still be pretty chilly. So I've got my old dance leg warmers on over my leggings under my flannel skirt and <laughs> my homemade uh, cotton hand crocheted slippers and of course the hoodie to stay warm and so yeah it's really helping so moving on i'll explain why i have more than five so i'm going to start with this a big bottle right here because peppermint oil essential oil is probably one of the most used essential oils around here and uh, I get, and as you can see, Now Foods is my favorite. I've tried several different essential oils, including, um, you know, one of the big ones that a lot of people like, the, you know, multi-level marketing kind. And, and, and those are fine. I don't have anything against them personally. I have just always been happy with Now Foods. I did not find anything I liked better about the more expensive brands. I found these to be just as good. I've been using them long before I heard of any other brand and have always been happy with them. And I especially love the fact that they sell their peppermint oil in a big bottle like this. This is 16 ounces because I go through a lot of it and this is the most cost effective way to buy it. And I will link to this one below. In fact, I'll link to all the essential oils I use below and you can look at them or, you know, stick with whatever brand you're happy with. I don't have a problem with that. Again, I've said it before, essential oil brands for some reason tends to be like, it tends to turn into this weird sort of ugly debate and I don't see why it should have to. If you look into the company, you're happy with it, they work for you, be happy with the ones that you use. And, and you know, and don't have to put other people down because they don't use the kind you use. We should all just be happy, all right? So anyway, moving on, peppermint oil. My, uh, one of the things we use this in a lot is the, I love to make the, uh, Mr. Rain especially loves the, uh, peppermint patty chocolate that I make and so I will link to the recipe right up here and I use the peppermint oil in it and we just love it but you got to go be careful not to go too heavy on it because it, it is strong it is really strong if you put too much and sometimes I put too much and Patrick loves it even when I put too much because I think because he was always an Altoids eater and you know how strong the peppermint Altoids are that's kind of how these taste. <laughs> and then of course, this is my favorite essential oil to use in our tooth powder that I make. And I have a recipe on that. I'll go ahead and link to right up here. And I hopefully, I'm probably gonna run out of eye cards, keep in mind, because I use all these essential oils in different ways. Now, let me explain really quick before I move on to the other oils. And that is, I'm not, don't do a whole lot of aromatherapy with the essential oils, though I do some but they're not the number one reason I like to have essential oils. Typically they're more for topical use and some of the other ones I'll get to for flavorings uh, and, and stuff like that's how I mostly use them. But when it comes to aromatherapy, one of my favorites one, ones, and I make my own blends, is a, a blend of the lavender and the rosemary for headaches in particular because the rosemary will help kind of wake you up and get rid of the brain fog. And then the lavender helps, you know, it's very calming. So it helps ease the pain. And I find the two combined, I just kind of came up with it. I don't know if anyone else has ever done that, but I came up with the, uh, that blend myself. I do half and half. And again, if you're new to essential oils, I should state that in most cases, when it comes to that kind of stuff, you will, um, especially if you're new to it, want to use a carrier oil. I almost never use a carrier oil. I just don't need it. So I'll use it neat, uh, the blend of the lavender and the rosemary. And I've even blended some peppermint oil in with that. It's another good one for a headache blend. And then I have one more blend that I came up with for a, you know, one of those when you can't sleep kind of nights. And that is with the ylang ylang. Uh, the lavender and the frankincense. So that's, and those are 
pretty much the only two I use for aromatherapy and and those even don't even get used very often but they are nice to have in fact the headache remedy uh, blend was the first thing I did to start helping with headaches to get me off of buying the junk from the store the Tylenol the ibuprofen that kind of stuff so moving on to my next one and these aren't in any particular order other than the peppermint and the fact that it gets used the most but uh, the another one of my very favorites is clove. Now I use the clove mixed with orange oil as a as a perfume because I love the smell of orange and clove together. And then the clove gets used quite a bit in my homemade soaps. And in fact, all of these oils that you see here get used in my homemade soaps or and or skin creams on a regular basis. Oh, lip balm is another one that I really like the clove in. Like orange clove lip balm is a really good one. And that's how I use that. Now, frankincense, another of my very, very favorites. This one gets used quite a bit. So like I said, this one uh, gets used in my sleep blend and also in my skin cream. My first skin cream recipe I came up with, I have a link to, I'll go ahead and put up there. Remember, it's an old video, so the picture's a little dark. It's before we got these lights and set them up in here. But anyway, the, it's one of my more popular ones that I sell on my store, and it is it has the frankincense, the ylang ylang, and the grapefruit, all very excellent for skin health. And those are those are in that skin cream. And I also have another blend I'll talk about. But frankincense by itself, as a, in a lip balm with no other blend, no other oil, is a wonderful lip balm. And I think it's probably my favorite. It's just something about the smell and the feel of it when I put it on my lips. It's just it's wonderful. And I've had other people say that they love it too. That it's their favorite. So frankincense is definitely a must to keep around here. And and yes, it's very calming and soothing and is very helpful for sleep. So now these two, my last two, so it's top five, right? One, two, three, four, five. I know it's kind of cheating. I will pick a favorite out of each of these two categories, but this category right here is my floral ones. So out of my florals, I have lavender. It's used a lot in my homemade soap because my lavender yarrow bentonite clay soap is one of my top sellers. And then the uh, the rose and the geranium oils are in my other skin cream blend. And these two smell really good together and also make a really great soap. And both rose and geranium are very good for the skin. And then, um, and then of course, the ylang ylang that I already mentioned. I would say out of these, the ylang ylang is probably the top because I think I use this one the most. I also make a lip balm using the ylang ylang mixed with vanilla um, essential oil. And then back here are my citrus. Love citrus oils. Now these ones, though, they get used in soaps, they get used in skin cream, they get used in uh, lip balms. Uh, one of the things I use these a lot for too is for flavoring. I just recently put out a video on a citrus tea where I use just a little bit of the lime oil in there along with some other herbs and citrus peels. And I'll go ahead and link to that right up here and I'm guessing that's probably my last eye card. So if I run out of room for any more that I'd like to share with you, I'll put them in the end screens and you'll see them pop up here at the end. The orange oil especially gets used in making chocolate. So I like to put a little bit of this along with some orange peel and the homemade chocolate that I make. And I'll go ahead and link either up here or in the end to my orange cream chocolate recipe. And that's what I use this in quite a bit. But as I said before, I also blend it with the clove oil for making my own perfume. Um, I've made hairspray. I've made a clove orange hairspray. I have a I have a video. I'll go ahead and link to it at the end on how to make your own hairspray. Super easy. I have a, I have people buy the hairspray from me, but it is so easy to make, and most likely you have everything you need right there in your home, especially if you have some essential oils, it's not needed, but it's nice to add that little extra scent to the hairspray when you use it. And it's very effective, it's cheap, and it's all natural. So uh, yeah, the orange, probably out of these, uh, these four, I've got orange, grapefruit, lemon, and lime. The orange gets used the most, but my very favorite, well, I know the grapefruit gets used quite a bit because I use it in skin cream and soap. But my very favorite out of the four is the lime. Love the lime so much. It is just, I could just sit here and smell this all day and just be thrilled to death. So my top five essential oils, uh, my top five favorite, ylang ylang, 
lime, frankincense, clove, and peppermint, of course. Okay, well, that's it for the essential oils, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out Stringfield Ridge Farm, and she'll have a playlist of the videos because there's other people participating in this, including Mr. Rain, believe it or not. And his video is going to come out a few days from this one, so be watching for that one too. Okay, well, I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care, and God bless.